Good morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Our gold commentary for today is pretty short. Our economics commentary is pretty long. The gold holdings in the gold ETF exchange traded fund have declined by 0.8%, less than 1% since the price of gold has gone down 20% over the last four or five weeks. What this means is that people are continuing to hold gold in the belief that gold will increase in price. And it's important to remember that when there's been all this negativity about gold. Number two, the uh, options and futures are on the long side, telling us that people are continuing to buy options and futures in the view that gold is going to go up in price. Uh, this is reflective of our economic concerns, which I'm going to go over in some length and detail. Um, because we keep telling you nothing has changed. Um, there's very lackluster growth to be expected in the U.S. economy for the next two years. We're seeing 1.7% at best for this year, trending down to 1.5% uh, throughout 2012. Um, there has been no real resolution uh, of the structural economic problems that face the world. In other words, excuse me, face not only the world, but the United States because of our critical international role. In the United States, there has yet to be any resolution of the housing bubble, nor has there been any resolution of the financial crisis. Still, we're seeing U.S. banks in major lawsuits uh, <clears throat> standing, risking 50 and $75 billion for mortgages that they package for people. Um, and most likely, and as you know, I believe we're in a recession, the most likely consequence of these three factors is an official recession. Um, the commodity surge in prices, the almost, almost across the board surge in commodity prices, whether food or, or iron or oil, oil is trending down now, but let's remember it's, it's up. Um, those things have caused big stagnation in gross domestic product here in the United States. And there's really not much that we can do about the four things that I've already discussed. In other words, we're stuck in this situation until some sharp action is taken. And even if we take sharp action, that action is not going to be in effect. It, that action, if we take action today, if Obama's Public Works jobs bill was passed this weekend, it would take 18 months to three years for it to be into operation and affecting what's going on. Um, the contraction in federal spending, in other words, everybody's been happy about the reduction in federal spending, the contraction in federal spending has had the, un the unfortunate side effect that state and, state and local, so in my mind is stake, state and local expenditures have declined as well. So this is a huge net contraction in, uh, that affects down to local municipalities caused by the, dis the uh, decline in federal discretionary spending. Now, this 1.7, 1.5%, the reason that's a significant number when we talk about U.S. growth, remember our projection is 1.7%. Uh, for the rest of this year and 1.5 at best in 2012 is that that's 6% below what the economy ought to be doing. Okay, 6% below what the economy ought to be doing. And uh, so while we expect core inflation to fall back only gradually, we want to point out that some recent numbers have indicated that uh, core inflation, of course, is rising. Now, the reason this is significant is that when you think about whether you're making money or not, you have to factor in inflation. And we believe the actual inflation rate is close to 9%. So if you're getting 3% on the money in the bank, guess what? You're losing 6% of your purchasing power. And while the effect of this is May be, different, may be easy to overlook over a one or two year period of time. Over a five year period of time, things that have cost you, stuff that you buy has gone up 30% in price and everybody's gonna be howling about that. Now we're gonna talk some more about austerity worldwide and the political and social impact of that. We're gonna talk about that a lot over the next few days. Uh, we want you to aim for the ice flows and not the open water. 
keep swinging. You want you have, you have any questions about our economic views or things we're thinking, give me a call on 781-380-8888. Keep swinging.